Notes on Studs and Cufflinks as Camp after Susan Sontag. Camp is a sensibility as distinct from an idea. It is unmistakably modern, a variant of sophistication, but hardly identical with it. I live by Oscar Wilde's maxim, one should either be a work of art or wear a work of art. I am androgynous and aesthete, a dandy. The androgen is certainly one of the great images of camp sensibility. Sontag's note 9. Cuff and collar studs are camp objects. They ostentatiously, obviously, perform their purpose. In place of buttons, removable studs, fastened shirts, vests and cuffs, they are more than practical. They are extravagant, excessive. Sontag's note 40. Style is everything. Cuff, collar and vest studs are accessories of formal menswear, performing traditional masculinity. The gifting of a stud box for a young man's 21st birthday is a coming-of-age tradition. I queered this tradition. Cufflinks and collar studs represent my lesbian coming-of-age. I performed a gradual sartorial coming out. I collected studs and cufflinks, silk ties and cravats, and later a bowler hat and a swagger stick. Dapper, elegant and androgynous, I came to understand and express my queerness through collecting these pieces. Sontag's note 10. Camp is being as playing a role. It is the furthest extension of the metaphor of life as theatre. So I played the role of the Victorian dandy. Fake it till you make it, as some may say. As gifts, cufflinks are charged with queer nostalgia. One pair were a 25th present for my family. Another pair, a gift from dear friends. And a third, given to me on my 30th birthday by a once lover. Sontag's note 13. The relation of camp taste to the past is extremely sentimental. A stud is a detachable button for fastening a shirt or vest. Or a stud is a dominant lesbian, usually butch. I'm neither butch nor femme. I express myself through the extravagant style and androgyny of the Victorian dandy. I reject those binaries. Sontag's note 31. So many of the objects prized by camp are old-fashioned, out of date. What was banal can, with the passage of time, become fantastic. These mismatched silver cufflinks represent how I collect and curate my queer aesthetic through odd, but fantastic, objects from the past. Sontag's note 10. Camp sees everything in quotation marks. Everything is borrowed, temporary, ephemeral, theatrical. Everything is a note, like these, taken from the past, quoted and reinterpreted. Sontag's note 17. Camp is flam flamboyant, mannerism susceptible to a double interpretation. Gestures full of duplicity. There is always a queer meaning behind the straight, public experience of a thing. As a woman and a dandy, cufflinks flag my queerness for those who know how to look. Again, Sontag's note 17. Camp is a mode of seduction. I fasten a lover's cufflinks, holding her hand in both of mine. Hands are always erotic in lesbian camp. I knot her silk tie. Sontag lists random examples of items which are part of the canon in camp, including certain turn-of-the-century picture postcards. Here, a dandy and her bride. Laughing, she removes her lover's shirt studs and places them on the table. Sontag's note 41. The whole point of camp is to dethrone the serious. Camp is playful because, darling, life is far too important a thing ever to talk seriously about it. And queer time runs away with us. Sontag's note 45. So camp is a modern dandyism. Camp is the answer to the problem how to be a dandy in the age of mass culture. And camp dandyism is my answer to how to be queer in the 21st century. These notes were for Oscar Wilde.